Hey guys, it's Katie and today I'm going to show you how to create a card abandonment email sequence in card trap. So let's say you are selling something and um, you want you know to follow up with the people who have checked out your um, or have visited your checkout page but have not purchased the product yet. So in order to follow up with them, what I usually do, I create an email sequence um, that is specifically for those, you know, for those kind of people who have visited my checkout pages. So what I will go ahead and do, I am currently in my communications within Kartra and my uh, and sequences as far as the tab on the top here. If you um, need to find where exactly um, this is located. Um, for those of you who don't know what Kartra is, um, it's a um, platform that I use and many other people use to um, set up their online business on. So you can do many different things um, within Kartra. You can create pages, funnels, set up as your own products um, that you're selling, membership sites. Um, you can do obviously send out emails, create email sequences, automations. Um, you have a help desk here that you can set up. Um, you have um, different integrations that you can you know integrate with Kartra, and you can even set up your own agency through Kartra. Um, so if you want to, ch to check out more and learn what is Kartra, um, go ahead and check out the link below this video. Um, but for those of you who has access to Kartra already and want to learn how to um, put together and set up a card abandonment um, email sequence, uh, let's go ahead and start. So from this page, you will click on um, uh, add a sequence. So just click this green button. Let's name it um, So I'll just name it like that and then I'll say um, here I usually say like thank you for your um, interest in learning more. It all depends you know what you are promoting and what you are providing um, you know by looking at that you would you know put together some kind of sentence um, and this sentence is usually for those people who want to uns unsubscribe from your emails if they get an email from you and when they go and subscribe um, they will you know this will remind them why they have subscribed to you so it will you know maybe um, encourage some of those people not to unsubscribe because you know if they want to keep learning about this um, in the future from you so let's click create And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click on starting the rules. We'll click on page visit and then let's choose our page. And then add and then save. And then the next thing we are going to do is we're going to grab this email um, send email option here and place it below. Here we can just say wait a number of hours and I will just say um, wait for let's say one hour and then um, click next and I'm okay with this email going out any day and any time of the day um, and then I will name my broadcast here. I'll say something like um, heads up your purchase is not complete then click next. I will edit my email here and then click next and this basically says when do we send this or when does Kartra need to send this email or to who um, and here I will go ahead and choose um, someone who has not purchased the product and then the product and any price point and I'll click add and then click next and I'll just do single email and here is where I will um, put together an email follow-up that will go out automatically to those people who have been to my checkout page 
but have not purchased this product. So um, I usually like to use advanced option here, but you can obviously use basic if you'd like to uh, create it, create this email. And I usually like to change this color background to white and I um, use my own template. Um, if you want to create a template, you can just, you know, drag, um, you know, the headlines or text or whatever you need um, here and just create it like that. Uh, but I will go ahead and choose the template that I usually use to send out emails and that I've already created and saved within Kartra. Um, yes, it is possible to do that. You can simply create your own template when you are sending out an email and you can just save it. And to save your template, you can just click on this save as template and it will um, show up um, right here under your favorite templates or my my templates um, so here I'm just gonna edit this email or this template and put in whatever I want this email to say um, in order to have their name embedded in in this uh, what you will do is you will basically just um, click on dynamic variables and you can copy this code here and place it here or wherever you want it to go into your email. Um, and this will uh, automatically put in their own name into the email that they will receive. So let me just put in the subject line. Okay. So I just said something like, it looks like, sorry, and then it goes, uh, their email, it looks like you haven't completed your purchase um, of this course that I'm selling and the checkout that they visited. And then I said, uh, great news, you still have a chance to do that. Let me just make sure it's all the same um, font and everything. Okay. So um, to make this text clickable, um, what we would need to do, we would need to hyperlink uh, this text right here. So I will go ahead and click hyperlink. And then I'll choose a um, new window under target here and then click OK. So when um, people, so when someone clicks on this text, it will take them directly to the checkout page to complete the purchase. And then here I just share like a little bit of uh, why, you know, they would want to um, create an internet business or why would, you know, why they should set up an online business just a little bit of value so they um, not only you know get a call to action um, to go finish the you know purchasing the course but um, so they would also get some value out of this email and let's um, hyperlink this text as well Okay, that's all. Um, so we will just go ahead and send a test email to see if all the links work and everything's good. All right, it looks like um, it's the email looks great. Let's just click on these links here. Yep, it takes them to the checkout. Let's test this one. Works great. Let me just check this button if it's working, if it takes them to my blog where again, they can get more value um, if they would like to learn more about me or just get more free value. The next thing that we're gonna do is click next. And we'll also create a, a an automation so they don't, um, you know, keep getting the same email over and over again. Let's go ahead and create an automation. So if the lead opens this email, then
unsubscribe from this sequence and then let's choose a sequence and then click add and save so that way you know when they go again and what if they decide not to purchase you know so they wouldn't be getting this email over and over again the same exact email so um, let's go ahead and click create and the email is here we can create a few more emails if we want in this sequence you know if we want to follow up with them more um, but we can also just leave you know if, if we want to just have this one email we can just leave it as one email so the next thing we will do we'll go ahead and activate this email and we'll go ahead and connect um, the first step to the second step and also what we will do um, we will also um, grab this complete um, step here and then we'll drag it down and let's connect these two together and just activate this one as well okay so in this sequence you know for now we have just one email that we've um, set up but again I said you can set up as many emails as you want um, to follow up with them and make sure they will go ahead and purchase this product or help them make the decision to purchase um, but for now for this video I just wanted to kind of quickly show how to put this together and if you want to set up more emails of course you will um, you know drag um, the email here again like more email um, options here again and the complete step is going to be the last step um, in the sequence. So that's it for this video. Hope this helps you create your um, email sequences, follow-ups, um, automations within Kartra. And if you did um, enjoy it and if you've learned something new today, go ahead and comment below. I love reading your guys' comments and in engaging with you guys and seeing where you guys are up to. Also, if you need any other help with Kartra or if you'd like me to um, put together a training um, on how to do something that maybe you don't know um, how to do within Kartra, let me know in the comments below as well. Um, and I would love to help you out with your guys' issues and things, um, what you have within Kartra. And if you are looking for someone to coach you and to help you set something up within Kartra, I wanted to mention that I do have a coaching program as well as done for you services. So if you are, um, you know, having issues with Kartra or just want somebody to set your business up within Kartra, um, maybe you don't know how to set things up yet and you need some help, um, I would love to um, help you out with that. I do charge for coaching and done for you services, but uh, what we can do, we can jump on a uh, initial strategy session with you for free. And we can talk about your project and um, we can, you know, discuss and see if uh, we'll be a good fit to work together on your project. All right, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you're not yet. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And of course, don't forget to click done and exit when you are done with setting up this sequence.